Hey everybody, welcome to Friday Afternoon here at the Pace Studios in New York City. Uh, we are here with a very special guest today, uh, Mr. Edward Rogers on our right. Hello. Mr. Don Piper on our left. Hello. Thank you guys for coming in and playing uh, some songs for us today. Thanks for having us, mate. Uh, so, Edward, you got a new solo record out. Uh, came out earlier this month called TV Generation. It That's is a- your, uh, your seventh solo album. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, you yeah, I know. Count. I, I'm not, I, did, I can't crack, I did count the research. that high anymore. I did the research. I'm pretty sure. That's yeah, what the internet says. Okay, so, I'll you know. take your word for it. Yeah, man. yeah. We're taking the internet's word. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit about the, the first song you're going to do for us today off, off that record. Well, the first song today is called 20th Century uh, Heroes. And it's basically a song about we're losing all, all of our heroes. I mean, unless you're 17 or, or uh, older... Everybody's dying, you know. So we've lost, you know. In, in my heroes were like Brian Jones, were Mark Bolin, uh, obviously David Bowie, uh, Prince, you know. And, and that's just to name four off the top of my head, you know. Yeah. But every, you know, when you pick up the newspaper every day, there's somebody else passing out, you know, and just leaving us on another planet. So I just kind of said, well, we're all gonna die, and, and it's kind of a good catchphrase. But I was just getting so upset about seeing people pass away, and especially, you know, what really drove me to it was was waking up on a Monday morning to find David Bowie had passed away. Yeah, right. It was a shock. It was, it a, was shock. a shocker, and it was just like, wow, you know, like that was a realization that you know, uh, they don't stay forever. Yeah. You know, all our dreams and our realities, at one point or another, they're gonna go to another place. Take it away whenever you're you happy ready. with that? Yeah, yeah. No, that's All right. <laughs> I also want to... Sad and our, happy. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. But I also want to like let our audience know, do you like our new library that we're taking home with us tonight? Lots of oh, stuff yeah. to watch over the weekend, you know? Whatever you can carry in two hands. Uh, okay, get, get ready, mate. You're going to be carrying a lot of stuff out of there. You know? There's some great 69 Rolling Stone stuff back there, you know? You ready, Don? Let's Should we do, do this song? Yes. All right. My childhood heroes fast fade away I saw the news another died today Myths and stories lost in memory But that was my yesterday Heroes in my life, you know the old cliche One day your star lost along the way Lift your moments in glory and fame One shook on no one remembers your name Lost another 20th century celebrity Washed up dreams An outlaw In your society Cause yesterday's news Today's history The world just lives for today As another shooting star Fades away So fashion and chic, you suddenly appeared The tabloids fought to have you near Every moment was captured by their eyes The money maker, they all, they all live their lives by Lost another 20th century celebrity Washed up dreams, an outlaw in your society Cause yesterday's news, today's history The world just lives for today As another shooting star just fades away What happened to the lean years? Were you there to calm their fears? The light shined, did you still cheer? The curtain now fallen, time to join your peers Roll over Beethoven, tell Chuck Berry the news Yeah Your role so well at the time No one remembers, huh They now just pass you by A tiny little bit on page 33 A last moment for the critics To all disagree 
lost another 20th century celebrity Washed up dreams, no place in your society Yesterday's news, today's history As another shooting star just fades away Expose your scars, now look back and see Lost another 20th century celebrity What? Expose your scars, look back and see Lost another 20th century celebrity Yeah! Lost another 20th century celebrity What? Lost another 20th century celebrity Hey! The place is packed with people Thank you guys Cheers uh, so, Edward, uh, you were born in the UK. You've lived in New York for most of your life. Is that right? That is correct. And uh, you can definitely hear both sides of that, of those cultures in the music that you make. And I was listening to TV Generation and, you know, you can hear Bowie and you can hear uh, Elvis Costello and Lou Reed and some kinks. There's obviously, uh, you know, you're, you're taking from I sort steal of both well. sides. Yeah. But so, uh, you know, I was... I was thinking, you know, yesterday here in the Pace Studio, we had a musician named Jim Lauderdale, who is a, an American guy, Nashville mostly, but made his new record in London with English musicians and had that style going for the record. And I was asking him, I'm going to ask you the sort of the same question, you know, how, how do you reconcile those, those two styles? And is that something that's always part of your, your art and your music? You know, the idea that America and Britain are always sort of sharing music, sending it back and forth, whether it's folk or rock and roll. Wow, you really thought about this question, didn't well, you? Well, you know, I try, to, <laughs> I, try to, I try to, you know, come up with good stuff. <laughs> it's, that's a good one. You know, music is what you love. And, and um, having been in two countries and, and for most of my life, yeah, influences are there. I mean, yeah, love Lou Reed, John Cale. I'm a huge fan of John Cale's. But then I go to the other side, and I'm a huge fan of Kevin Ayers, which people, most people don't know and should yeah. check him out. And recently turned on to Duncan Brown, who is this amazing um, guitarist, beautiful looking man in, in the late 60s, early 70s that uh, was doing some work. So when you look at, at influences, I'm always listening to music and, and absorbing it, you know? Yeah. Um, I played Don this, this track yesterday. Um, I've been trying to do a, my own version of Street Hassle by Lou Reed, and uh -huh. I, I did all the strings, and I played it to him. He laughed when he heard it. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you're stealing it. And I'm like, that's the idea. But you, you steal from your artists that you love, but then you make it your own. Yeah. And um, I don't know if that's long-winded or not, but that's how I feel. I, if I love music, it, it just connects on that and there's, level. And those, the, the British roots have sort of never, never left you. I mean, you, it's something that is a part of all the music you make, yeah. You know... Um, I left, I was born in Birmingham and I left at a really, really crazy age because the beat boom had, had went crazy in England. So I was like uh, taken away. I had no choice. My parents said, we're going to America and that was it. We're there, you know. Um, but what was going on at the time was we had Stevie Winwood with Spencer Davis Group. We had the move going on. We had the Moody Blues. Later on, we had Black Sabbath. So I was always resentful that we were taken away until yeah. I went back four years ago and saw it. I'm like, thank God I came to New York City. <laughs> so, you know, it, it all ended well. How's yeah, well, that? We're glad to have you. Well, I'll, I'm, I'm staying now. Yeah, you know? okay. I, think, I think I've made my decision. Yeah, no, it's been long enough, I think. Uh, so tell us a little bit about uh, the next song from the record you're, you're going to do for us today. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, I was watching the news and... Um, there was this news flash about Dylan Roof and it, and, uh, it came on. And I, I just looked at it and I said, how could somebody go into a church and just with a gun and, and kill nine people? It just beyond comp comprehension to me at all. And, uh, you know, I know everybody has opinions about whether we should bear arms or not bear arms. That's not what it's about. It's just about the loss of a human soul and, and just what it means. And it uh, sounds deeper than I normally am, but uh, the lyrics kind of came out and it just was really heartfelt. And... How I can always tell if a, if a good song is at least coming to my head is that if the lyrics flow without any really matching the words or just kind of, you've got a piece of paper and at the end of it you've got a completed, uh, basically, uh, poem, I would say, there's something there. So that's how this song came about, actually. All right.
boy who had hatred in his heart Took revenge and place of solace and peace Left nine bloody lives, families torn apart On this ordinary Wednesday in June Had to share his hatred and rage To get the attention he so craved No sorrow so perverse What made you plan the killing in that church? Love is stronger than hate Now not a time to celebrate Love is stronger than hate On this ordinary Wednesday in June The boy who had hatred in his heart Wanted the world to fall apart Anger he couldn't contain So he murdered all nine In vain Love is stronger than hate not a time to celebrate Love is stronger than hate On this ordinary Wednesday in June It's been a long time since it's over It takes a lifetime to start again we all know a griever, a loved one lost to sin. It's been a long time since it's over. It'll take a long time to join again. When the pain feels forever, a new day, it can't begin. Too young to know much at all About the scribblings you wrote Words that was true On this ordinary Wednesday in June Who does the bell now toll for? Still no remorse or guilt A coward with no soul Don't go the way Dylan went Love is stronger than hate Now not a time and now celebrate Love is stronger than hate On this ordinary Wednesday in June It took the world apart A soul lost along the way Too late to learn from mistakes of today Mistakes of today Of today Mistakes of today Did you all pay to get in? They did, yes. <laughs> These are all our, our interns back here. Oh, let's be lunch hey, hour, is yeah, it? Yeah, they yeah, made sorry, you come sorry. in. They made, they, we made you could them. be off on the beach, but you're here. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gents. Uh, so it seems you know, pretty clear the first couple songs you did. You, you get a lot of inspiration from what's going on in, in the world. Uh, you know, Law and Order would say ripped from the headlines. Whoa, okay. Is that, uh, is, that, is that something that's you know, always been a part of how you write? You know, things that sort of occur to you in, in the news or in, around the world? Observation songwriting is, is a lot of what I do. Um, and, uh, 
you know, you can see somebody walking down the street and um, that can set off an entire story in your head, you know. Yeah. There's no set formula, you know. Uh, I mean, I do take writing very seriously and basically I, I spend two or three days a week sitting just waiting for ideas to come. Other times something will just flash and you get it, you know. There, there is no written rule, but if, if you're not able to be spending time on it, then, then it's, I find it impossible. We did a, a, a road trip a couple of uh, weeks ago. We went to Europe, and uh, I couldn't write a thing. As soon as I got off the plane and got back, I four songs in, in two days. I was like, because I kept feeling I'm going to lose the secret. I'm no longer going to be able to reach up and get those ideas, you know? So it's always the next one. Yeah. So it's always motivational writing, I think. And so what is the, what is the TV generation? That's the, 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 the album title. Well, you know what? TV Generation, the album title, is, is about all of us in this room. We all grew up, television was like, hey, got channels, you know. Uh, when I was in England, originally we only had two channels. Came to the United States, they had seven channels. I was like, whoa, <laughs> look at this. And I think, you know, it's really funny because a lot of, of um, English mates and musicians that I've run, ran into over the years, one of the main reasons they, they come here and one of the major things that they won't leave the room is because all of a sudden they got unlimited TV. So... I once was talking to my parents, and they were like, you don't realize that in, in, in our generation, there was no TV. And it's kind of like, you know, when you go look back at your children and your next generation, they're going to look at us like, you didn't have computers? You, you didn't have cell phones? You know, what, it, you know these innovations keep going. So it, it, was, it was all caught about that period of time, really, you know? Yeah. Uh, so... Uh Going back to the record, tell us about the, the third song you're going to do for us today. Ah, yes. Yeah. Do you know about Georgie Best? I know, I know who he is. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I'll tell you what happened is, um, again, you know, I was watching a little TV program, and they said, you know, highlights of, the, of um, the early 70s was Georgie Best. And I'm like, and I remember him as a kid as the name my dad used to tell me. But I reached out, and I started to look at some of the football games. And he's an English, so let me get this correct. He's the Belfast boy, so he's, um, but he was considered a hero. He was in, in Beatle times to, to music, he was to sports. Amazing right. looking man, um, broke all the barriers, you know, achieved amazing goals, um, and played for Manchester United, and, um, which is a football team in England, in case you want to know, <laughs> and, um, and just really tore down the rules. Unfortunately... Everybody has this sacred than thou look at him. And my view was, if you know later parts of his life, um, he really just tore it all away. He went over the edge, he went over the cliff. He was kind of like the Brian Jones of, foot, of, of football, really. I mean, man had everything. He had looks, he had the, the talent, but um, you know, it was almost like he joined the 27 club, but it wasn't even then, yeah. joined, there was no 27 club back then. But, uh, Unfortunately, he ended up there. So the story came out of it, and, um, and I was listening to the Preservation Society by the Kinks at the time, and I was kind of like, ooh. And the whole thing just came one morning, you know, 7 o'clock, woke up, had to get out of bed. Here's another song. Great, let's hear it. All right. City girls keep getting younger when viewed from the number nine bus Time spinning its tail Oh well, you have to learn to adjust Walking down the high street No longer catch their eye Ladies pass you by Now you always wonder why Where did the time go yesterday? Now lives in a blur So alone Disconcerning comments Followed by sir Me old hero fades away Just like a shooting star Once you were the player Now live in decay You scored goals but then you kicked your life away Where did the time go yesterday? 
now lives in a blur So alone The golden days are over No longer can pretend Don't have much time Money or friends would ever comprehend Everyone you know has gone or simply Pissed their lives away Now emptiness crept in Loneliness a cold in Bitter decay Why don't you play a little bit there, Don? Look in the mirror Nothing changed Ever wonder why? So invisible to your attention You just keep up the lie So if you see him, give him a wink and a reply Don't forget to compliment his Windsor tie Where did the time go yesterday? Now lives in a blur Cause he's all alone All right, which one did you like best so far of the three we just did? Which best best? Which is the best one of the three we've so far done, anybody? Wednesday. Everybody's quiet now, you know. <laughs> oh my God, we've dropped them all out. Yeah, we're, we're behind the camera. We don't, we don't, we don't. Get oh, to you're not supposed to be spot. here. I'm yeah. sorry, right, mate. Right. No, you know, we're we're not. We don't answer questions. That's for you. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I didn't know the rules. Can those, I grab those, a piece of water? Hang on a minute. Yeah. So well, let me ask you. Uh, you know, you're 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 known really as a as a great songwriter. Uh, these last, you know, really? several records. Yeah, the first one who's told me that. Yeah. Right oh well, you know, around around these parts. <laughs> Um, I think you know. I don't. I I didn't know that initially. Uh, you know, you started out in music in the city as a, as a drummer, uh, and in the mid '80s, you you had an accident uh, that that left you without your right arm and part of your leg, and so you. I think you began to concentrate more on on composing and singing than maybe you had b before that. Correct. Um, and so you know what I'm what I'm wondering is. Uh, would you be the songwriter you are? Would you be the singer that you are? You know, had everything sort of gone differently? No. No. Um, you know, when the accident happened to me, I was on the subway and uh, leaned against the door. Door opened up. I fell out. I woke up three days later. I should have died and went to visit my, my God. But uh, he had a different plan for me. So um, he woke up and... I, I, excuse me, I woke up and, uh, you know, I, I kind of was like, like, okay, this has happened to me, you know, like, I can't believe this is a reality. And, um, but at the same time, there was something inside of me that said, this is going to be all right. I, and I can't really tell you why, um, but um, I was away from my world for six months. In the first month, I didn't want to really listen to music, read music, didn't want to know anything about really anything. You know, my world was very insulated. And then one day I just turned around to the, the, the nurse and said, you better give me a pad and a pen because I've got to start writing again. You know, I've got to, I've, and so included in that writing was, was poems. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the ironic thing, and I'll tell you, it, it took me uh, six months to learn how to do things like tie your shoelaces and you've got to relearn life, basically. Yeah. And uh, at the end of it, I signed the, the poetry book, and I looked at my driver's license, and it was the exact same signature. It went from here to here, but it, there it was, you know. So, um, and to get away back, more focused to your question, um, I was very lucky. Um, people put up with me, and they let me be in their band. Imagine having a one hand. I mean, one-legged, one-handed drummer. It's one thing being in Def Leppard, you know. Yeah, but right, I was right. like, you can't even, you know, what do you, you do about that, you know? And people put up with me for a number of years and let me be in their bands. And, and we, did, we did well. There's even somewhere out there, which I'm not telling anybody, uh, but there's even an EP that was put out on an obscure label, which has me drumming on it. And poor, the poor producer makes, makes your life easy, mate, I'll tell you. But um, 
So, but, you know, one day somebody came up to me who um, a very important person came up to me and said, you know, if you ever get signed, the first person that's not going to make it into the studio is you. Because obviously you're not going to be, you're, you can drum and you can keep good timing, but we need, a, we need somebody that would really nail it and get in and out and really be able to go on the road and do all these things. And he goes, you chat a lot. We can't shut you up most of the time. And, you know, I know that you can sing because I've seen you sing. Why don't you take that up? And I went and did it. And I, um, and thank God I did because yeah. it, it immediately all these doors opened up. And it, I worked for everything I got, but I feel like I've, I've been blessed with, uh, you know, I lost my limbs, but I gained a different world. And all the things that I wanted to achieve are either within my sight or I've achieved a lot of them. And I'm always setting other goals further out. And if you can learn anything from that, it's like never give up, man. Never give up. And if you're an artist, you're gonna make you're gonna make art, right? Well, if you're an artist, you're gonna get a lot of downtime. The things go wrong, and and I'm no different than anybody else. You know, I'll cry, scream, stomp my foot, but um, but for the most part, you know, you, you, then you next day you wake up and you got to move on. And right. that's true of life, basically. Right. Um, well, you know, we're obviously glad you're here playing for us today. Uh, well, thank so you. tell us about the the last, the fourth, the, the last song you're going to do for us. The today. last song of the yeah, set. The, the last one, the encore. And we can all go on July Fourth holiday, right? We're all <laughs> set. We're all excited about that, you know. But um, the last song is just uh, I wrote this 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 song and, and um, turned around to Don. I said, I want this to kind of get the feel of Street Fighting Man, and um, so Don and um, we also had James Mastro, who plays with Ian Hunter, and who hasn't he played with? We can name drop from now till Tuesday. But we went into the, the band, into the studio, and Don and he took the little guitars that look as ugly as this one, and all of a sudden, the right amp and the right feel, and all of a sudden, it sounded exactly like Street Fighting Man. And uh, we had Dennis Dyken from the Smithereens, and he knew exactly the drum feel to get, and Sal Mater from uh, Sparks and Roxy Music. They instantly clicked. They did two takes of the song and it was done. Yeah. I disgracefully could not sing that well. So I had to do a couple more takes. But the song was just like all feel from the band. And that's what this song is all about. And it's also a good time because when we did the song, I didn't think American politics was going to end up that way. Yeah. And um, so it's, it's, it's a little political as well. Great. Take it away, guys. You ready, Dawn? You want to tell them what the song is called? Why don't you tell them? Say the song something. It's called Sturdy Man Shout. Yeah. All right. All right. I see the world through my eyes. Only know the truth that's in my mind. You look for answers you just can't find. Replace the guilt that's felt so deep inside One right way, and you still try to hide Knowing truths are buried in your mind No easy way in, or a way to get out You just got to hollow, a sturdy man shout Hey, hey, what's it all about? How many more tears till we all cry out? Hey, hey! What's it all about? How many more fools do we all find out? Find out, yeah! The real world's looking for a payout Yet you're always last, asking for a handout those who control, they're gonna cause you pain You can cry, you can scream, they're gonna drive you insane Nothing will happen till you cry out And learn to stop a sturdy man shout Hey, what's it all about? Are you still, huh, still in doubt? Hey, hey, what's it all about? How many more years till we all find out? I said, come for justice, you come from shame. How many more till you're the one to blame? Get out on the streets, so then you can see your place in line to change history. I see 
the world through my eyes Only know the truth that's in my mind Don't pretend that you are blind To a world we know we need to leave so far behind Hey, hey, what's it all about? Why, you just, huh, sit and pout Hey, hey, what's it all about? When you're gonna stand up, stand up and shout Hey, hey, what's it all about? How many more fools do we all cry out? Hey, hey, what's it all about? How many more tears do we all cry out? I said how many more tears do we all cry out? Yeah, how many more fools do we all cry out? Thank you guys for, uh, for coming in today. That sounded great. Uh, Don Piper, Edward Rogers. The new record is TV Generation. Came out June 9th, I believe. Was That's the, correct. Was it on, on uh, Zip Records? Zip Records, On yes. Zip Records. Thanks again for, uh, for coming into Pace and playing for us today. And, and, you know, come back anytime, guys. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, <laughs> tomorrow's Saturday. So you'll have to turn the lights on yourself. But, All right. you know, you can do whatever you like when we're not here. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Cheers.